WGEL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Good morning, it is 638. Let's take a look live outside right now on our York Sky Cam. This is a sample of what you can see in some areas. We have fog and in other spots it's completely clear. So depending on where you live, you might run in to these areas of dense fog. Look at the visibility in Lebanon. That's great, 10 miles, but it's only a quarter mile in Chambersburg, half mile in York and down near zero in parts of Adams County. News 8 Storm Team forecast today calls for clouds and fog then becoming sunny by late morning. Early afternoon, we'll see mostly sunny skies, mild temperatures, highs near 50. Savor those 50s if you're a warm weather lover because we are going down in the seven day forecast. I don't see another 50 uh, for quite a while. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies, a couple of showers come through. This is ahead of a stronger cold front. This front tomorrow will pick up our wind speeds 20 to 30 miles per hour, bring in cooler air from Canada. We'll see partly sunny skies tomorrow. Highs still make the 40s, but it's going to feel like the 30s. Here's a look at your currents. 34 degrees in Sealands Grove, 41, very mild, warmer than the average high right now in Harrisburg. We have 35 for Chambersburg and 43 in Lancaster. Live on Super Doppler 8, the ground is wet, but there's no rain falling. It's just damp from that rain that we had yesterday. The drizzle, very light stuff yesterday is still kind of hanging around this morning. Once the clouds peel back, though, high pressure builds in. That'll give us a sunny afternoon and eventually clouds finally come back toward evening. Here's those overnight showers tomorrow morning, windy and kind of chilly. There could be a trailing shower or a flurry later in the day, and then high pressure builds in for Friday. So Friday looks chilly. Highs barely get into the low 30s, but it will be calming down as far as winds are concerned. Now this high pressure system sets the stage for our Saturday snow. It'll funnel in a lot of cold air. Temperatures will be in the low 20s early Saturday, so this storm will definitely begin as light snow late Saturday morning. Snow could become heavy at times. You see the brighter whites there Saturday afternoon before a changeover into some sleet and freezing rain, then eventually rain by evening. So we get all types of precipitation with the storm on Saturday. It definitely starts as snow and ends as rain. The big question is how long does that cold air last? That will determine how big our snow totals are. So we'll keep you updated on that. We'll have some totals for you for tomorrow. Now here's the seven day forecast. Temperatures guys, nowhere near 50 in the extended. And I guess that is typical for January. So winter's back, it's here to stay. Sorry, Jerry. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> well, it kind of looks like maybe the second half of January is going to be much different than the first half of January. Second half of January is real January, yeah, right? right? It finally True. showed up. I hate up. to tell you, but wait till February. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know.